yes, you can schedule your Power Automate desktop flows just by using the Windows Task Scheduler. Let's build a demo flow. So I go up to my actions. I created a new flow here. I'll say launch new and then I'll drag in and launch new Microsoft Edge. I will give it a URL and here I'll say https anasjensen.org. That is my website. So a simple flow that will open up a website. I call this open website and I will save it. Now we are done here. You could of course have more advanced flows. I'll close it. We need to touch two settings. The first one is going up here into settings. Scroll a little bit down. And here you'll see the display confirmation dialog when invoking flows externally. That means that when we start flows, for example, from the task scheduler, we will have a prompt. I don't really want that. That will ruin the automation part of it. So I will untick this and I'll click save. The next thing we will do, I can close this, is to find the link to the flow that we just created. And that was called open website. So what I do here is to click the three dots right next to the flow. Now it was here. I'll say properties and then I'll be in details here. Go down to run URL and click this copy icon. Then you will have a green check mark. We have the link in our clipboard. Can also move out here. Then we will go to task scheduler. Click your start menu and then type task. You will see that this is the task scheduler. So I'll click to open that. This is a place where we can schedule all sorts of tasks. If you go up here to the task scheduler library, click this little arrow here, you can already see four folders or maybe more at yours. What I will do here is that I right click, say new folder. We will create a new Power Automate desktop folder so we can have our flows inside that folder. Then I'll click OK. That will be empty. If I go down here and click it and let me enlarge it, we can see that we have no flows or no tasks to run up here. And we have a few options. I can create a new task. I can either create a basic task or a task. A basic task is just we have more simple parameters. We can always convert a basic task to an advanced task later on. So let's start by creating a basic task. I can do this in several ways. I can right click here, right click here, or I can go over here and say create basic task. That will be the same. So we will give it a name. And here I'll just say run open website. That will be the name of the task. Then I'll click next. Here I need to specify how, how often do I want this flow to run. And let's just say daily for now. When we are creating more advanced tasks, we can specify it in more detail. And again, we can always edit this as well. So just stick with me. I'll say next. Here I can say, when do I want this flow to start? Let's pick from tomorrow. And let's say that it should run at 8 o'clock a.m. each day and it should reoccur every one day. That's it. Then I can click next. What do I want to do? Well, I want to start a program that will be my Power Automate desktop launcher. And then I'll provide the link to the flow. I'll click next. So what you want to do here is to click browse. You will go into C colon and then you will move into program files here. Scroll down to Power Automate desktop. It will be a scroll too long. Here it is. Move inside here and you will find a lot of folders and files. What you need to do is to scroll down to PAD, Power Automate Desktop. Here it is. And then you want to find this executable, pad.consult.host.exe. Click that with your mouse and say open. Then in Add Arguments, you just press Control V to paste in the link to your flow. Then you'll click Next. That's it. We will click Finish. Before we try to test it, let's just double click the flow up here. And if I go into triggers, here you can see my triggers, that is we run it daily. And if I want to edit it here, 
I can set it to repeat every hour. I can delay it uh, randomly. I can stop it if it's uh, not running. I can do all sorts of advanced triggers. And I can also add actions, condition settings, whatever. But I'll let you experiment with that. Now we started it tomorrow, so we cannot really test that this schedule will work. I could have um, scheduled it like two minutes ahead in time, but I can also go over here and click run. That will run the task. It will take five seconds and it actually opens up on my other screen, but here it is. That's how easy it is to use the task scheduler. To see how you can schedule desktop flows with Power Automate Cloud, here's the video for you. I'll also invite you to my Power Automate desktop community, the invitation and guide you'll find right here.